Today on the Bass Channel, we're checking out the Frank Bello Street Driver 48 Signature Sans Amp. In addition to the specific tones that Frank wanted, a major priority was to make the Street Driver 48 simple to operate. It doesn't have a plethora of knobs, switches, or gratuitous bells and whistles. Instead, it allows players to get a great sound right out of the box, whether it's for metal, R&B, or prog rock. Now, in honor of who Frank Bello is and who we are as a channel, we're not going to be spending any time in this video dialing R&B tones, but just know that you can do that if desired. Instead, you're going to be hearing a handful of classic heavy metal and hard rock examples played through various bases. There's a couple different ways you can run this rig. First of all, you can run it like we're running it here as a preamp by running the quarter inch output of the Sans amp directly into the power amp input or the effects return of an amp. This will bypass the tone coloring preamp section of the amp rig, which in our case is a Hartkey LH500 and matching Hartkey 410 cab. However, if you like the tone of your amp's preamp and want to pair it with this pedal, you can also run it as a stomp box. You can achieve this by setting it up just like any other pedal in your rig by running a quarter inch output to the front input of your amp. And as you'd expect from a Sans amp, you can also record direct with either XLR or the quarter inch output directly into the input of a mixer recorder. In addition to the heart key rig that I mentioned earlier, we are also recording with an XLR directly out of the Sans amp, but we'll get into that a little bit more later. First, let's talk about the controls. The four knobs up top are fairly intuitive, but in the interest of being thorough, let's go over each one. The drive knob adjusts the overall amount of gain and overdrive, similar to when the output section of a tube amp is being pushed. Level, of course, adjusts the output level without altering any of the tonal characteristics, and the low and high knobs are active tone controls that cut or boost from the 12 o'clock position.
The Filth switch adds top-end sizzle and razor-edge clarity to emphasize your attack, while the Dirt switch adds extra gain and overdrive for over-the-top nastiness. Frank Bello Street Driver 48 Signature Sans Amp is not only a mouthful to say, but it's also an interactive tool that will react differently to various signal levels as well as your individual touch. For example, a hotter signal and a heavy hand will increase the gain structure and result in more overdrive, where a softer signal and a light touch decreases the gain structure for a cleaner sound. Finally, let's go back to the signal chain as previously mentioned in the way that we're running it for this video. Like I said before, the quarter inch is going into the effects return or the power ramp in of a Hartke LH500 and matching 410 cab, mic'd with a Beta 52 and an SM57. In addition to that, we're also recording the direct sound with an XLR directly into our Tascam interface. Up to this point, you've been hearing both of those signals simultaneously with the direct signal being slightly attenuated by approximately minus 9 dB. But these next few samples are going to be the DI only, which is an XLR directly out of the pedal and into our Tazcam interface. So now let's hear a couple examples of this pedal running into the back end of that heart key through the 410, through the Beta 52 and SM57. just about wraps up this video so big thanks to tech 21 for sending us out the frank bellow street driver 48 signature sans amp let me know what you thought of the tones down in the comment section below don't forget to like subscribe and i think with that be safe and we'll see you next time